Cancer, welcome to your April 24th to 30th, 2017 reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you have not already subscribed, please do so by clicking the subscribe button below. Um, lots of energy in your messages. They're just jumping without me even shuffling. So, uh, oh. Let's see what's in store for you for this week. I will be using the Butterfly Oracle. That is my deck for now. I went on a hunt last week to try to find some in my area, but so far I haven't been able to. So, lots of change, energies of change. Some of you may have tried or are working on new creative ventures, new careers, businesses, a change of job has already been in order or uh, being initiated at this point in time. But new beginnings unfold for you. And if you're guided by the lunar cycle, you will see that every great um, project or um, venture is always around the time of the new moon and the full moon and other times it's time for you to just reflect um, redo re-edit uh, assess so this week we're starting you off with end of an era um, new beginnings at the end of an old cycle we have moving hobbies again from last week leaving religion and spirituality and windfall um, gifts from heaven, raise, increase, inheritance. So you're at the end of an era, you're at the end of a cycle in your life, you know. Um, and with the new moon, I'm feeling that you are in alignment with the lunar cycles. That is when you manifest, you're in tune. And uh, based on that, a new period is unfolding for you. And you're... A lot more grounded and more willing to head into the unknown take risks you know uh, do things differently uh, and and feeling that the angels are encouraging you where your hobbies is concerned because by nurturing your hobbies they can be turned into successful businesses or careers and that is the focus for you moving this may be merely physical um, move moving for business a trip in order you know um all really changing your thoughts evolving being in alignment with who you really are you know um uh, understanding that um you have the ability to create revitalize yourself and still needing to care for uh, your inner child your what is within really clearing out or caring for your inner child by changing your thought processes because yes we may be adults but there are times where um, we need our mother or we need that connection with our parents or a family to make us feel loved it's on it's what's fighting with us on the inside and sometimes we express those emotions not knowing exactly what they're trying to tell us you know, um, inner needs, doing the inner work, clearing out what no longer serves you so that you could really be in alignment with who you are now. So for some of you, but this is not merely physical, this is moving, changing what is within you that no longer serves you. And hobbies, your hobbies are assisting you. This is an avenue to um, assist you in stress release. It's also assisting you in staying a lot more grounded, being true to yourself and your true needs and desires while trusting your inner being and being able to see things that uh, cannot be seen by people um, on the outside world. You know, nurturing, it's like nurturing. Also your connection with the earth, you know, outdoors and nature, the greenery, um, the sunshine, the solar plexus, you know, what makes you tick really connecting with that and for you it's your hobbies uh, you know what they are you've been working on them for quite some time now and uh, again it's assisting you in creating something long lasting we focus on your hobbies leaving the moving and leaving card 
you know so you're at the end of an era it's time for you to leave what no longer serves you behind and the moving card for some this may be a physical move uh, but we have religion and spirituality the direct opposite to the moving card so you may need to move away from religions again things that were ingrained within you and the time of your childhood and to connect with what is within you true you your heart um the leaving card being willing to head into the unknown heart-centered you know what you have within you those talents those capabilities uh things you know that inner voice your intuition talking to you leading you guiding you for some of you you may need to find um a spiritual group that you resonate with if you don't belong to anything at this point in time but this is heart centered you and again win for gifts from heaven not worrying about your your food your shelter knowing that those basic needs are guaranteed to be met when you follow your true needs and desires and you follow your heart and that inner guidance leading you to go somewhere to do something to connect with someone you know it's your intuition that is going to guide you this week i'm going to go on to an angel and affirmation for you this week so that you could connect with what you really need and uh, by repetition of this affirmation to assist you in really be bringing in the new so let's see okay heart's desires again yeah Heading into the unknown, religion and spirituality, true you, what your heart needs, wants, and desires, heart's desires, okay? Again, um, if you look at the image, you will see an angel and a child, you know, um, being guided, however, or connecting with your inner being, you know, as I said previously, do you know your true heart's needs? Are you aware that you choose the majority of your desires on the basis of unconscious patterns? Only when you release, only when you realize what your heart's desire is, the joy in your heart becomes infinite. So your affirmation is, why is it that I am becoming more aware each day what is my true and primal desires, heart's desires, which I'm realizing here and now? understanding yourself well doing the inner work clearing out what no longer serves you and really knowing thyself what makes you tick you know focus on who you really are not anything or anyone outside yourself who you really are as a person who you are now you know being an adult growing and evolving you know but still also nurturing your inner desires at the same time being responsible i'm going to go on to the soul's journey oracle for a message for you from the soul you know heart, some serious energies we have hearts desires you know the heart is what is what's going to lead you this week so message from the soul trust okay just trust the process trust the path that you're heading down trust yourself okay trust what it is you know not knowing how you know what you know and um uh, trust could stem from people or yourself some attributes of trustworthy people their actions match their words and they keep their word they would speak of love support and inspiration they do not plant seeds of fear and doubt in the minds of others or themselves they know who they are and what they need they are self-aware and authentic is that you do you fit those qualities do the people in your life fit, fit those qualities you know really find out this week by observing and trusting that guidance that is within your heart okay your soul in annoying let me know how those messages resonate remember like share subscribe for personal reading with me check out the links in the description box below see you guys